All right, so here we are. We gotta go and find this damn kid trapped in the sewers or... Whoa. Oh, you mean they can't still can't go in there? I'm kind of saying that, yeah. All right, so I got to do some sort of a puzzle to get him away from the door. Oh, all right. That was easy. <laughs> hmm. It's a window here. <laughs> Thought we were underground. I thought we were going into like some kind of a sewer. This is just some kind of a storage place. Oh, all right. You know, I don't know how I feel quite feel about this because the um, in Breath of Fire Three, you. And an interesting change on the way that a lot of these games are. Oh, geez, I, all of my attacks missed. You had all of your battles taking place on the kind of world map. Well, not the world map, but when you... Um, when you... Go into a fight, you you just sort of like... The characters pull out their weapons and then the enemies appear on the environment. And you're like, you know, that's cool, because most games don't do that. Most games are just sort of like you do what we did here, where the screen fades black or whatever, then you open up uh, an environment that sort of resembles what you were playing in, and then, ah, oh, shit, he's poisoned. Then you fight on a different, like, battle map. So, like, on one hand, like, this is perfectly acceptable. This is the way majority of games have done it over the years, and it's kind of stupid for me to complain about that. But on the other hand, 3 did something, did something different. And that's a, it's a shame that we didn't get more of that. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. I thought maybe I could push those barrels. But then again, having all your fights take place on the environment like that may seem like a good idea, but you're going to have to have a sort of map design that is built to allow that. Oh, that was an easy fight. <laughs> because, I mean, look at this area right here. You wouldn't be able to have a fight with our characters standing on top of this like that. It just wouldn't make sense. So you'd have to have all of your environments large enough to fit them. I, um... Gonna have to switch up the way. I have to switch the control stick. I kind of broke my thumb. <laughs> so... Running it across a, uh, like a rigid D-pad, like I was, like, I tend to use on these kinds of games. It's a tad painful, so I gotta use the analog stick. Still does less damage, but Nina in this game, I definitely mentioned this before, but Nina in this game isn't so weak that her physical attack is not something that you'll just end up doing if you don't want to burn through all of her AP. In, say, like, Breath of Fire 2 or 3, and I didn't really play 1, but probably in that case as well, Nina's physical attack was uh, bordering on useless. 
Of course, I think I have her apprenticed to a master that's going to lower her strength. Or, like, not allow her to gain much strength in her level ups. So, that's definitely a temporary thing with her. She's eventually going to get so weak that, in comparison to the enemies, that. Hey, there's the kid. Alright. There's the kid, though. Yeah, she'll get so weak that her physical attacks aren't going to be useful. But, you know, that's. She's a caster character, so that's just something we're going to have to live with. Is that blood on these things? Oh, raptor claws. Is that... So that's got to be a weapon. Not for Ryu. There we go. Ryu's got a lot of weapons here. Oh. Oh, you know, look at that. Agility goes down by one, but a lot more attack power. Log. Come on. And when did I pick that up and not equip it? Yeah, you know, maybe that's the reason why I was saying that Nina's attack power isn't, uh, is, I mean, not really comparable, but not completely outclassed by the other characters, because Ryu wasn't using a good weapon. <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh, alright. So, this is in a hole I have to fall through to get into the other cell. Yeah, there it is. There we go. Hey, kid. Oh, you're still playing hide-and-seek? <laughs> How long were you going to stay here, you little idiot? <laughs> I thought we were going to have a dungeon here. That's all? <laughs> no end boss or anything? You know, I kind of made the assumption that her sister was taken by the Empire, I mean. Why didn't they assume that? I mean, they were after Nina, too. Oh, nope, don't want to go that way. Well, even though it's a short episode, I should probably end it there. It seems like a decent enough plot point. There wasn't much of a dungeon in that, but... There we have it. <laughs>